President of the United States is not guilty as charged in the first article of impeachment. Donald John Trump, President of the United States, is not guilty as charged in the second article of impeachment. The verdict is in. Donald Trump will remain in office. The GOP-controlled Senate voting to acquit the U.S. president, but not before a dramatic split from the party by Republican Mitt Romney. The president is guilty of an appalling abuse of public trust. What he did was not perfect. Mr. Romney, Mr. Romney, guilty. That vote by Romney, the only vote not along party lines. Article 1 is adopted. The decision coming about a month and a half after Trump was impeached by the Democrat-led House of Representatives on charges of abuse of power and obstruction of Congress over efforts to get Ukraine to announce investigations that would benefit Trump politically. Absolutely. Trump's acquittal marks the end of a bitter impeachment process, which the U.S. president has repeatedly slammed as a hoax, denying wrongdoing. Before the verdict, Trump seemingly already looking ahead to November's presidential election. The president of the United States. Delivering his State of the Union address Tuesday night, the theme of the speech, the great American comeback. The best is yet to come. Tensions on display between Trump and top House Democrat Nancy Pelosi when he appeared to deny her a handshake. Flash forward to the end of the address. God bless you and God bless America. Pelosi making her feelings known, ripping up a copy of Trump's speech. Because it was a manifesto of mistruths. And an update from Iowa Wednesday. Days after caucuses there, results only released, though, bit by bit after Democratic Party officials said a technical glitch was behind the delay in getting out those numbers. <laughs> Former mayor of South Bend, Indiana, Pete Buttigieg, maintaining his early lead, first revealed in early results, edging Bernie Sanders, the senator from Vermont, in the first contest of the Democratic primary season, choosing who will take on Trump in November. Senator Elizabeth Warren holding in third, with former U.S. Vice President Joe Biden trailing in fourth place. And in the wings, a wild card. The billionaire former New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg spending hundreds of millions of his own dollars on TV ads before his late entry into the race on March 3rd, when 14 states vote on Super Tuesday. Bloomberg skipping the next test for candidates in New Hampshire on Tuesday. For City News, I'm Melissa Duggan.